Hi, Deirdre McNamara again, and this is tutorial four for PowerPoint 2010. Uh, I've just created a few text slides here. You can see I've got four different text slides. Uh, I've just done the typing to save us a bit of time. Now, if I run this presentation as it currently stands, uh, to run a presentation, you click on Slideshow. That's this button up here, so Slideshow. And click on From Beginning. You can see it jumps very quickly from slide to slide. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do to try and jizz this up a little bit is to apply transition uh, to the presentation. So from the Home tab, you choose Transitions. That's that tab up here. I'm going to choose a fairly dramatic one so that it's kind of easy to see. So I'm going to choose Push. Now if I just click on that button, it will only go on one slide. If I'd like to apply it to all slides, I choose here and then over here I click on Apply to All. So I'm going to choose that, so I'm going to click on Apply to All. And now I'm going to run my slideshow again. So I click on Slideshow and From Beginning. And as you can see now, as the new slide comes in and you're moving from one slide to another, you have this transition effect. And the one I chose was Push, which might get a bit irritating. Um, so that's the one selected at the moment. So I think that one is a bit irritating as it was moving from slide to slide. So I'm going to change it to a more subtle one. So if I click on Transitions again, and actually normally the one that I currently use is Fade. So I'm going to choose Fade and I'm going to click on Apply to All and I'm going to run my slideshow so you can see the difference now and I'm going to go Slideshow and From Beginning. So I click on From Beginning and you can see it fades in and out as opposed to jumping directly it's slightly a more slow and gentle move from one slide to the other. Okay, so that's slide uh, transition. The next thing is that as we're showing the slide, all of the bullet points appear at once. And if we'd like to gradually reveal the slide, that's called animation. Now, it's easy to apply it to one slide. So I'm going to do that to start off with. So I've got this slide here selected. I need to select the actual text area. So I've selected the text area here. I go to animations. So it's animations. Okay. Um, and I'm going to choose fly in and you can see that the bullet points fly in. Now if I run the whole slideshow now, if I click on slideshow and from beginning you can see until I click the bullet points don't appear. I'm going to click my mouse again now and the next one appears, click again and the third one appears. But this only has happened on the first slide. If I click You'll see the second slide is exactly the same. All of the bullet points are appearing at once and come out. Now, in animations, there is no button here that says apply to all. So to work with that, we actually have to move to the master slide view. So to do that, we click on view. So I'm clicking on the view tab up here and I'm choosing slide master. Now, slide master affects how all of your bullet slides appear. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you scroll right up the top and choose number one up here. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Um, now, in here we can change how um, different levels of font look. So for example, if I decided that I'd like all of my first level bullet points uh, to be green, for example, I'm selecting that. I'm not typing. I'm going to the Home tab. I'm going to change the color here and I'm just going to choose green. I could decide that my second level of bullet, I want them to be purple, and I could choose my third and fourth level. I haven't actually used those levels at the moment, but just to see what I'm talking about there, I'm going to go back to the slide master and come out of master view, so close master view. Now you'll notice here, again, my big level bullet points are green, my second level are purple on the first slide, the second, the third, and the fourth. So it's affected how all of the bullet points work on each of the slides. To view and slide master. Um, and again, making sure that the first one is selected and we select the text area here. Now, exactly the same way we put on the animation before, we click on animations and we decide to choose fly in. Now, because it's a master slide we've selected and not just a regular slide, this means we are applying it to all slides. So 
that's fine. I'm finished. That's all I wanted to do at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go back to Slide Master and close Master View. I'm back into Normal View again. If I go into Slideshow and from beginning, the first slide always worked. It's, we'll see now when we check the second, third and fourth slide um, that um, you can see that the animation has gone in. And you can see it's come the whole way through um, and animation has been applied. Uh, again, other things that you can do with your master slide, if you click on view and slide master, if you wanted to have a particular picture or a logo on appearing on all slides, again, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you choose the number one slide up the top over here. So choose this one over here. And then we could, for example, click on insert and uh, let's go with a picture. And I'm going to choose the pictures folders here and I'll just choose a sample photograph and for some reason I want a hydrangea to appear on all. So I'm clicking on that and insert. Again, that's way too big, so I'm just going to shrink it down so that it's tiny and maybe put it up in the top uh, right hand corner. And you can already see that you, the little picture is appearing on all of those slides. I'm going to come out of Master View now, so Slide Master, Close Master View. And now you can see the picture appears on all slide. Uh, if you would like to put text on all slide, you actually don't use that option. The best way to put text on all slides is to click on insert and choose header and footer. Now, um, we can put in a date and time and it will automatically update. Uh, I can put in the slide number and I can choose footer. So choose footer down the bottom here. And for example, I can put in uh, L-Y-I-T. So um, I can choose to have it appear on the first slide or not. We'll just leave that unselected and we click on apply to all. And now you can see that on all of the slides, as I go through them, this will appear down the bottom. Okay, that's the end of this video.